I want to keep my Chevy. And I want to keep my Ford. We are full-time RVers who met on the road, and now one of us has to give up our truck, and it's going to be you. you. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz Amazing, and this is my new boyfriend, Paul. These are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And life has been pretty amazing since I started a relationship with Paul just eight weeks ago. We were both solo RVers and we met on the road about five months ago. And now though, we have a problem. We have two campers and two trucks. My truck is a 2014 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. It's a diesel with 80,000 miles. My truck is a 2015 Ford F-250 Super Duty. It's also a diesel and it has 69,000 miles. And as part of our deepening commitment, we realized we really do need to work on getting rid of one of the trucks because we plan on traveling across the country and we don't want to just have a truck in storage, particularly if we don't get back, you know, for a year. So it's decision time. Whose truck do we get rid of? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have a 2015 travel trailer that I was pulling with my 2015 F-250. Choosing which trailer to move into or to use for our journey is pretty easy because her track, her trailer is brand new and five feet longer than mine. So that was an easy decision. But the truck, that's a different story. My truck has been a joy to drive. It's my very first pickup, my first diesel, and I love it. It has every bell and whistle imaginable. I was never really a truck guy. I was into classic cars and hot rods. My last car, in fact, was a 1951 Studebaker Starlight Coupe. And when I was working, I drove company cars, which were all sedans, and I just didn't do trucks. I didn't have any real use for them. But getting into the RV lifestyle, of course, you either have a, a motorhome or a truck and a, and a trailer. So I ended up with a Ford. I love the F-250. The power that that thing has is amazing. That thing is a beast on the road. On the surface, both trucks are similar. Both are crew cabs, both are diesels. Both can easily handle the rig although mine handles it better. No! My Ford has 440 horsepower and 860 pound-feet of torque. The Chevy has 397 horsepower, 765 pound-feet of torque. Towing capacity, the Ford has 14,000 pound conventional 15,100 pound fifth wheel with a gross combined weight ratio of 23,500. The Chevy is at 13,000 conventional, 15,800 fifth wheel with a gross combined weight ratio of 24,500. As you can see, the Chevrolet has 1,000 pound more capacity than the Ford, which is very important for both Liz and I. While I'm on the subject of tow ratings, I'd like to share something that hopefully you'll find helpful. Just using the F-250 as an example, the tow ratings can vary as much as 1,500 pounds, depending on cab style, gear ratio, and whether it's a 4x2 or 4x4. And by the way, when everything else is equal, a 4x2 will always have a higher towing capacity. So how did we get into this situation? Well, Paul and I met on the road six months ago and were actually campground neighbors for two weeks. We kept in touch via text and when I broke my hand, he drove six hours to help me out. He moved in with me and slept on the couch at first. Then we stored his trailer and I kissed my truck goodbye as we hit the road. We left Santa Barbara for Palm Springs where I reconnected with friends I met on the road earlier. We also did some RV tours with Paul pitching in by filming me. That made it a whole lot easier for me since I was dealing with my broken hand. From there, we went to Arizona where we crossed the border into Mexico. We had dental work done and we bought some drugs. Yes, you can actually buy medications in Mexico without a prescription. Watch for our upcoming video with the inside scoop. Then we went to Nevada where we stayed in Vegas and visited Hoover Dam before heading to Santa Barbara and my truck. The Silverado is loaded with options including heated and cooled leather seats, climate control, and sunroof. It also has more storage 
and a higher tow capacity than the F-250, but it is older with higher miles and I still owe on it. The F-250 is newer with lower miles and is definitely peppier, and it's paid for, but it's a base model with cloth seats. It's also six inches longer with a longer wheelbase, making it harder to park, and there's no backup camera. This is a real crossroads in our relationship. Paul loves his truck, and of course, as his partner, I want him to be happy. I know he wants to keep his Ford, but I don't want to resent him if I am the one who ends up giving up my truck. Every relationship has its challenges and conflicts, of course. How we work through this situation will likely set the tone for our future together. And the truth is, I love my truck just as much as he loves his truck. I've never seen myself as a pickup truck kind of gal, but I think my truck is pretty special and I know I will miss it if I had to sell it. So which do we choose? We have got to make this decision fast. We are gonna get out on the road, we're gonna travel cross country, so really within the next week, we need to make a decision, a big decision, and get rid of one of the trucks. This is where you come in. We want your input on this. After you weigh in, we will make a decision and we will announce our decision on the community page. So if you subscribe and ring the bell, you'll get an alert. Thanks so much for helping us with this really big problem. Thank you very much.